Hi, I'm Thomas Crowther, Professor of Ecology at ETH, ETH Zurich, where we founded the Crowther Lab and Restore, an online platform to facilitate restoration. I had no chance of going into any other field, really. I was, at a very young age, obsessed with the beauty and majesty of nature, and ultimately I was obsessed with snakes, and I figured out that protecting and preserving the ecosystems that can support snakes is the best thing that I can do in my life, and so that's where, why I got into it. I think the the central part of research is constant discovery. So there's an infinite array of exciting things. But honestly, for me, the most exciting thing is that nothing is ever finished. Every time I ask a question, someone says, ah, no, but we're, we're, other people are already working on that. But that is so not the case. Of course there are people are working on it, but there are always further steps to be taken to uncover incredible things about the natural world. COP26 has been a whirlwind. It's been the most incredibly optimistic COP with amazing commitments of no deforestation from all the governments and countries that have been participating. These commitments could be transformative in our fight against climate change. But it's also been an incredibly unnerving one because we just are desperately hoping and praying that these commitments are not empty. And that is why we need to partner with the technology that can help us to track those commitments, monitor those deforestation efforts, and work with the local communities who are being empowered by nature all across the globe. To try to bring transparency and connectivity to the restoration movement. Hundreds of millions of local communities across the globe are working with nature to bring economic sustainability at the same time as improving biodiversity and the climate. And ultimately they need the connectivity to learn and grow together. But it can also bring the transparency that we all need to monitor global deforestation pledges and to track the progression of the commitments that the companies and governments are making here at COP. So for me, one of the most exciting things here at COP has actually been to meet up with the other Earthshot finalists, one of which is the country of Costa Rica, who is a world leader in the conservation and restoration of their nature. Ultimately, through the Earthshot Prize, we have now collected. Through the Earthshot Prize, we have now connected to collaborate. So ultimately, we will be able to track and monitor their deforestation pledges. And what we're hoping is that other countries around the world will now follow suit to learn from the improvements that they've made and have transparent monitoring that can bring global change. Restoration and conservation are essential to our ongoing happiness and well-being on this planet. Ultimately, 30% 30, 30 is the magic number with nature. Nature contributes 30% to our emissions reductions if we can conserve those ecosystems. It also contributes 30% to our offsets and our carbon uptake if we can restore global ecosystems. And if we can protect 30% of the Earth's, Earth's ecosystems, we can maintain the ecological integrity that is essential for maintaining life on Earth. One incredibly exciting angle about this COP is the involvement of nature. Previous COPs have focused, focused on the energy sector, the transport sector, technological advances that we desperately need to limit emissions. But this year has seen the real integration of nature. We cannot achieve 1.5 without nature. And even if we could, no one would want to live in that world anyway. Ultimately, there's been a huge focus on the carbon impact of nature. And the evolution of carbon credits might be a really important thing in facilitating a sustainable carbon movement. But ultimately, integral to that nature piece is the biodiversity that makes ecosystems sustainable. We need to move beyond the carbon credits towards biodiversity credits. When we get the biodiversity part of nature restoration right, then the carbon part will, be, will follow, as will all of the benefits to local people and the rest of us. I got where I am today by simply following my passions. Find out what you love and commit to it and never stop. There will be hardships, challenges, and most importantly, terrible failures all along the way. But if you can learn from those failures and not give up and commit to your goals, ultimately anything is possible.